going on beautiful people welcome back to my channel for another cooking video baby we're doing nachos today super easy full of flavor let's jump right into it the first thing we're gonna do is prep the veggies that we're gonna be using in our meat mixture don't forget to wash all your veggies before you start using them right here you see me dicing up my yellow bell pepper here comes some red bell pepper. We're gonna dice that up real nice as well. It's up to you how much you use of your bell pepper. You can also throw some green bell pepper in there if you want. It's totally, totally up to you. You make this how you like to eat uh, your food. So here comes some diced onions. I had a big onion and I just used half of it. In goes our hamburger meat. In goes our sausage. And we're just gonna make sure that is well mixed together. We're breaking it down very good so it can cook all the way through. And in goes our veggies. Doesn't matter what order you put them in, you just wanna make sure they're all in there. We're gonna let those simmer down with the meat. We're gonna let them cook all the way through. Our veggies are gonna be translucent. In goes some season. Here comes some garlic. Y'all sprinkle till your ancestors tell you to stop. In goes some black pepper. And my favorite and everything I use, my Cajun seasoning. You just mix that up very, very well. Make sure your meat is cooked completely through. As you can see, my meat is not done. I'm just showing y'all what it is looking like. Vegetables are getting translucent, but we wanted to cook that some more until the meat is not pink. Now we're making our cheese, and I just get the regular cheese from the Tostitos can, I do believe that's what it is. And I added in some heavy whipping cream just to thin that cheese out a little bit. As you can see, it is ready. We're dicing up some tomatoes because I love tomatoes on top of my easy nachos. If you hate tomatoes, leave them out. Don't even worry about it. But I just love that extra pop of flavor when I put my tomatoes on top of my nachos. And here we go. We're plating a little different. We're plating for my daughter. She loves these nachos. So she's getting some Doritos with some meat on top. And then goes the cheese. As you can see, it's looking a, a very yummy. And then with a little bit of tomatoes on top. And there you have it for my little. And then this is for the adult. Y'all get crazy with the chips that you use. Use different flavors. With this one, I use the spicy heat and then the regular Doritos. But there you have it, y'all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share with family and friends. And until next time. Bye.